The bocce courts and parks throughout the city are used on a daily basis, but once a year, parks host a citywide tournament to which every borough sends their best reps. Bocce. Bocce is a very old game that the Romans uh, got some played in the uh, Middle East. Uh, bocce is an ancient game. I'm only playing it about seven years. Bocce is a game that was uh, brought here from Italy. I remember my dad I used to play this game on an open field. It is a fantastic sport that brings the old traditions of the old world here to America and continues it for the next generation. It looks like it, you're playing bowling, but it's way different. It, it's an easy game to watch and it's an easy game to understand. It's really weird, and then after I started watching it for a while, it started getting good. In most cases, it's uh, four people against four people. You know, the idea is to get 12 points, and the game is over. One team shows the Polini, which is the little white ball. The person who gets close to the Polino gets the points. So the idea is to get close and use strategy to knock the other opponents out and end up with the closest ball to the Polino. Usually you do it by eye, but sometimes it's so close that you have to measure. They measure from the white Paulina to the ball that's closest. It has to, it has to be the closest to it. You know, sometimes says, oh, no, you know, you think it's my point, your point. Remeasure again. So I do that, keep on remeasuring. And some people, of course, uh, don't like the way the other guy measures, so he measures it. So we argue, but that's part of the game. It's a lot of fun to argue. You can't just play bocce and not talk, you know. <laughs> I told the guy to watch the line. Hey, hey. I told him to watch. He was going to watch already. When you play, get this slot. I'm already emotional. I'm already emotional. That guy was coming with seven minutes. You got to be that way. No, no, no. Hey, I don't argue. You never see me argue. You never see me argue. In all sports, everybody wants to win, and everybody thinks the game should be played different ways. That's the whole thing. That's why there's a lot of arguing and what's close and what's not close and how to play the game, what you should do and what you can't do. And everybody thinks they know the game better than somebody else. You never see me argue. You never see me argue. They argue. You have to exercise your lungs anyway. That's that's gets more fresh air into you, you know. Thank you. There's nothing to argue about. Very few times there's arguments. Every once in a while there is, like in every sport, but nothing that we can't overcome. We argue, we yell, we scream, but it's all over at the end. Nobody gets mad uh, permanently. It's just a temporary condition. It's a very relaxing game. It's a community game. It brings a lot of people together. Uh, even if you don't understand each other, English, Spanish, whatever it is, everybody sort, sort of gets along, you know? It gets habit forming. We play every morning in the evening. We have night lights on the courts. We have barbecues, we have uh, uh, picnics. It's just neighbors being with neighbors, and it's given me an opportunity to be with people that I can learn things from. People that have been, you know, down the road 10, 15, sometimes 20, 30 years before me. So it's just a great camaraderie of men and women. The Citywide Tournament is the highlight for the New York bocce community. Not only do you get a check and you get a huge trophy, you actually get the opportunity to say, we are the best bocce team in New York City. And for them, that is the best prize of all. Hit the green a little. Right. Yeah, it's going to go in. It's going right between them. Oh, yeah. yeah. What a ball. Oh, wow. wow. Find a bocce court near you on the park's website and practice up for the annual tournament in September.